Oh, Barney, we almost there yet. Huh? <laughs> Just over this bridge. I don't know, Barney. That looks pretty curvy. Ho 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 ho. Don't worry, Caesar. Just put on this saddle. You can ride me across. Oh, that's gonna take like six months. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're on Binance Smart Chain taking a look at a stablecoin dex called Nerve. So let's swing over there and take a look at it. Here is Nerve, the landing page. I'll put a link to this in the description as usual. So basically it's a dex for stablecoins on the Binance Smart Chain. And currently it allows you to swap between these three tokens, Binance, USDT and USDC. Now. Let's take a look at the decks. Here is the simple swap right up here up front. And let's take a look at some of the levels of slippage. If I wanted to swap, say, 10, I would get 10 in a little bit, uh, 100, 100 in a little bit. So currently, USDC or USDT is selling a little bit cheaper than Binance. And let's go up to 1,000 and 10,000 and 100,000. I'm still getting more. And then here. Once we go to 1 million, we start to lose a little bit, about $40, $30 or so. So there is a bit of slippage, there's a bit of price impact when you get up to a million, but you know, 100,000, 200,000 should be okay, right? So it's not too bad. So let's swing into the pools, because you know, that's what you want to do if you're, unless you're coming to trade, you're probably considering, oh, how can I make money from this other than, you know, arbitrage and stuff like that. So let's go to the pools and see if about becoming a liquidity provider. So currently they only have this one pool, the three pool. So the three stable coins, of course, and the APY is 238%. Now this is incentivized with their NRV token. So there is some other aspect that's pretty important. So I'm going to mention this a few times. And if you look here, it says at the top, two thirds of the rewards vest for six months. So you get one third, right off the bat, but the other two thirds are going to be locked for six months. Now in the docs and in the discord, I asked about this, I read about this, and it doesn't have a clear plan of what's going to happen after that six months, because the six months hasn't happened yet, right? So they're trying to decide how to best do it, but um, it's my opinion that they'll probably use a, maybe a day to day or a week to week. So after, you know, after six months and one day, you will get one days of rewards or after six months and one week, you will get one week's worth of rewards. Now, that's just my assumption. I'm just guessing, but that's the logical way to do it. So let's go in and pretend we wanted to be a liquidity provider here. So when we come inside, we're met with this page here and it has some details about the pools and so forth. And uh, let's go down to here. So the first thing is there is a trading fee of 0 0.01, which is pretty cheap, but uh, in the docs, it does say that it was reduced from 0 0.04 to 0 0.01 for the time being in order to incentivize people to use it, okay? So this will probably go up to 0 0.04 in the near future. Now this money will go to the people who provide liquidity in the liquidity pool. Now there is a deposit fee and this fee goes to the treasury. So the treasury will get this and decide what to do that through governance in the future. And I suspect that this fee will eventually be handed to in some way or form to N uh, NRV holders, the people who hold the token that you're rewarded with by doing this, right? So here's a price, the current price of the uh, three pool stable coin, the liquidity pool token that you will get by supplying. And uh, down here, this is important. As you can see, there are three tokens. So each token should have a balance of 33.33333% but they don't, right? So how do they try to fix this? How do they try to keep these pools at 33, roughly 33%? They use it by incentivizing or rewarding or punishing people who put in the wrong coins. So let's say I wanted to put in $1,500 and I chose to use Binance Smart Binance US Dollar, I would get a bonus of this much. Now this bonus comes from the minting of fewer or more liquidity pool tokens. Okay, so let's go over and delete this and put 15 
100 here. As you can see, it's a negative because it's the high pool, right? It's the one that has a lot of it. So they want, don't want you to put that inside. So if you're coming here and you, you know, you have some US dollars, I would suggest you to first check which uh, one they want and maybe swap for that or try to prepare yourself to come and make sure you have the one that's not already overpopulated inside this pool okay so you could do you know 500 across them instead and you would still you know you'd roughly get a zero 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 bonus because it's even and you're not making any changes to the pool but uh, as you can see so consider this when you are deciding to do it now if you had liquidity pools you could come here to remove and you could decide which coin you want to remove and or you want to re remove in certain ones and again let's say I wanted to remove all these tokens I would get a bonus and if I wanted to remove just USDT I would get this bonus oops this bonus here so as you can see there's some bonuses to be considered in which tokens you're using whether you're adding or removing liquidity from the pool so now let's say you have re you have uh, supplied liquidity to this pool and then you would come over to stake why would you stake because now this is how you're going to earn this 240 percent now again remember two-thirds are locked for six months so you would come in here you would stake your three pool liquidity pool token i think they're called three nrv tokens okay and you would start to earn some nrv tokens and then you could claim the ones that were vested and ready to be claimed and you if you want to if you're really bullish on this project and you want just to farm nrv tokens you might consider doing a providing liquidity on pancake swap between the nrv busd token and you would get this apy and again, two thirds are vested again. So they're minting these tokens and giving them to the people who supply here. Okay. Now, next part here, NX NRV. So this is what they want you to do with the NRV. So you don't dump it, right? They want you to stick it in here. And uh, so you would come here with NRV tokens and you would mint X NRV tokens. And then you could stake your X NRV tokens here to gain an additional APY of this. Okay. Again, two thirds vested. Okay. So this is the way they're running it now. Now I suspect in the future that they will start to use fees and generate fees for these X NRV stakers and so forth. So it's pretty straightforward. It's a simple protocol. Um, I, th I kind of like it. I, I like the idea of this vesting in some ways. Um, it shows a long-term vision of the protocol and it's not, you can always pull out your you know, stable coins at all times it's not like your lps are locked it's just your rewards are locked so i kind of like that and i think it's interesting um you can come to the contracts here read through all the contracts the docs is pretty good it's a little bit incomplete there's a few places where you have to ask a few more questions but if you go to the discord they are pretty helpful they will answer your questions as you can see here i have a question and they answered it and uh Come to the facts. Now, last thing I wanted to talk about was the roadmap. The roadmap looks interesting. They've covered these points here and they have something new here. It's like lending and borrowing, borrowing versus your three NRV tokens, etc. So your pool tokens, you could instead of maybe, maybe instead of staking them, I don't know. It's a feature that's coming, it's not checked. So maybe you could borrow some stable coins versus your, and use them elsewhere, right? They are want they want to build some ETH pool and BTC pool. Probably the BTC will come first because there's not too much need or desire for, you know, synthetic different types of ETH on. But you know there are, there is BTC B and there are some Ren BTC and some other BTCs coming to Smart Chain Binance Smart Chain soon, and they want some sound, just a little bloop 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 or something on the sound effects and so forth. So that's pretty much it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like what I've looked up, and if you have some more questions, I suggest you go to their Telegram or sorry their Discord and ask some questions there. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.